Welcome to the video abstract of our paper on integrative structural modeling of the cardiac thin filament. The first author of this paper is Margaret Sunita S., a second year PhD student at the National Center for Biological Sciences, or NCBS, in Bangalore. The corresponding author is her thesis advisor, Ramanathan Saudamini, from NCBS. Other authors are Jim Spudich from Stanford, and me, your narrator, John Mercer from the Laughlin Research Institute of Great Falls, Montana, and a visiting professor at NCBS and INSTEM. We have constructed the human cardiac thin filament one unit model by combining data from X-ray, electron microscopy, and FRET studies. Here is shown our model of the block state. Note that the model contains 14 actin monomers, four tropomyosin monomers, and two troponin complexes. Next, we modeled the closed state. Finally, these states are superimposed. Using the interface energy between the actin filament and tropomyosin in multiple regions, we predicted the direction of tropomyosin sliding from the blocked and closed state to the open state. Examining the energetics of binding between tropomyosin and affactin at different pseudorepeats of tropomyosin showed that each repeat interacts differently with actin and therefore is likely to have functional importance. Based on these interactions, we predicted the open state interface and identified the residues likely to be important. Here, you can see the tropomyosin sequence um, arranged in heptad repeats on the left with pseudorepeats shaded. And on the right, we see the residues involved in binding. In the block state in dark red, in the closed state in pink, and in the open state in blue. In more detail, This movie shows tropomyosin interacting with different regions of the actin surface in the three states. Blocked in blue, closed in green, and open in purple. Now we add myosin heads in orange. In the blocked and closed states, tropomyosin sterically blocks actin binding to myosin, but not in the open state. It's important to note that the actin tropomyosin interaction energy in the blocked state is highly stable, while the closed and open states are less stable. This is consistent with the requirement for myosin binding to stabilize the open state interface, not only interacting with actin but with tropomyosin as well, as shown here. We also have mapped card, uh, cardiomyopathy mutants onto this structure. These residues are shown in yellow. Note that they're clustered in period five and period two of tropomyosin. These regions interact with the troponin core and actin respectively. We conducted a sequence analysis and studied the evolutionary conservation of tropomyosins. The analysis showed that period five is highly conserved and that period two and the C terminal part of period seven, shown here in boxes, are less conserved. When the tropomyosins are clustered phylogenetically at different levels based on taxonomy and tissue-specific isoforms, this decreased conservation of period two is retained throughout. In summary, we have modeled the 3D atomic structure of the cardiac thin filament in the blocked and closed states. Based on interface energies, we have predicted the position of tropomyosin in the open state. Our data suggests that pseudorepeats of tropomyosin perform distinct functions 
pointing to period two as particularly important. Thanks for viewing our video abstract.